Hi, my name is Lois Francis and in this short video I'm going to be talking to you about how to deal with stress, the early warning signs that you get and how you can make use of them. People react to stress in very many different ways. It may be that you start to feel weepy or anxious. You may withdraw into yourself and start to exhibit signs of paranoia, feeling that the whole world is kind of turning against you. But on the other hand, you may get really angry and show signs of irrational behaviour, perhaps take more risks than you normally would. And sometimes people start pacing around, they get restless and they show signs of increased aggression. Now, if you can start to become aware of your own early warning signals, then you can really start to do something about it. Just think of them as an alert. It's your, your brain and your body saying to you, hey, hang on, something's not right here. You're getting stressed and you need to do something about it. Once you become aware of what your early warning signals are, then you can use the ABC method to take control. And A is for awareness. And that is simply just noticing that you're beginning to experience signs of stress, whether that's anxious thoughts or one of the other symptoms that I mentioned a moment ago. And you begin to detach yourself from the thoughts and the feelings by taking the role of an impartial observer. So rather than saying to yourself, I'm getting really stressed, I'm feeling tense, you might just think, ah, I notice that the muscles in my shoulders are tense. I've had a few headaches lately. Or I've noticed I'm starting to feel angry and irritable with people. And by detaching yourself from the feeling, it lessens the intensity. Just treat the feelings, the thoughts as information. They're just saying to you, something's going on here that you need to look at. And you can thank your early warning system for letting you know things are going wrong. And B is for breathing. So you place a hand on your solar plexus area and breathe into the hand. Relax your shoulders, lift your chest so that you can breathe really easily into the whole of your lungs. And that helps to switch off the stress response. And try lifting the corners of your mouth into just the hint of a smile because that helps you to feel more calm. And then C is for conscious control. So you start asking yourself some useful questions. And those might be, what do I need right now? And that might be just taking 10 minutes away from the desk and doing some deep breathing. Just check in with yourself if you're worrying about things which are out of your control. If you are then you must let the anxiety go because it's a waste of your mental, your emotional energy and it only has a negative effect on you. And you might ask yourself, what's the most important thing that I need to do right now? And if you can identify the highest priority and get that done, it can help to relieve the stress. And ask yourself, do I need help or support with getting that thing done? Remember, you don't have to struggle and it's okay to ask for help if you need it. And this is a really good question to ask yourself. How can I reduce the pressure on myself? You may not get an immediate answer, but just leave it for your subconscious mind to work on and it will come up with an idea for you. And finally, just take a few minutes to think back to all the times when you've been stressed or under pressure in the past and you always got through it one way or another and you do succeed and you will get through this particular problem. If you'd like to know more about managing stress, then you can download my free ebook from my website, which is stressfreeforever.com. And please leave your comments below this video. I always appreciate hearing feedback. And you can click the link to view the next video in this series.